Welcome back to the SA Sports Show. Time to talk a little bit of footy, and boy, are we going to talk some footy here with a man who... I'm reminiscing. Oh, yeah. This well, is great. Well, I'm well, loving well, it. Well, you know, over the past, uh, I don't know, uh, six months or so, we've had some great past players in the studio here, and we've got another one today, Rexy Voigt from Glenelg. Rex, welcome to the program, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming in. Yeah, and, we, and we were just talking then, that's 50 years. Since 1973, 1973 flag, unreal. Which was one of the great flags from Glenelg, I'd say. That great it was, game, wasn't it? What a fantastic well, game of footy. It was an unbelievable game because leading into it, Curls at the team meeting said, don't drink too much water because mm. it sits in your stomach all day. So, <laughs> you know, it's how, how things have changed. Changed, but, yeah. But it was so hot that day that as a rover, I just said, well, you run here, the ball went there, and then you ran here, and the ball went over there and I, with North Adelaide. And I said, well, fuck at this. I'm just going to go from half forward flank to centre wing or centre, and then, and that's uh, and that's what I did. The ball came back plenty of times. So, uh, wow, well, mate, yeah. you, you had a field day. I mean, as a oh. rover, kicking seven goals in a grand final. Well, it's got to be one of the great performances. Well, they all went straight for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but um, should have been eight actually. But uh, it should have been eight. Yeah, it should have been eight. Bob Ammon got a free kick. Was it Bob Ammon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, for a shepherding, a legal yeah. shepherd. Ducker was running out of the, the diamond and blew his whistle. And we said, what the hell was that for? You know, the ball went over their head and he, he, um, he gave a free kick to Hammond because he was Fred was shepherding. But it went <laughs> over their head. Well, you're allowed to be a goal. You know? Yeah. Now, Rex, you're not bitter about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it did happen in 73. No, and he does remember the name, Murray Ducker. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm just bitter when, I, when we played Port Adelaide for the first time down, down the port. And they yeah. said, look, you haven't played football down here until you go to Port Adelaide. Yeah. So, uh, OK. I said, yeah, fair enough. Well, went down there. Well, you know, you got to... Ill, a, a knee in the groin, and you got a knee in the head, and you've got a, you know, like That's because they like you. Was that in the warm up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I soon realised what it was all about then. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough game of footy. Hey, well, of course, there was good. no Jack Odie medal back there as well. No. I've got to remember, got to think of that. No. You, you probably would have your name on a Jack Odie yeah. right now. Well, no, well, put it this way, no doubt I think you would have your name on a Jack Odie yeah. there. You kicked seven goals as a rover. And mm. It should have been eight, according mm. to Rexy. Yes. And <laughs> Give me up, Jack. <laughs> you would have the Jack in those days is that if the ball went in the forward pocket and you weren't there, you got dragged. Yeah. Nowadays, yeah. you've got to play football. What, 36 players in a quarter of a game of football? Yeah. Forget it. You know, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Change, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, exactly. Hey Rex, I want to go right back. You're a, you're a Loxton boy. I am. So in, yes. in a similar era to you know, Bruce Light, Russell Lee, but yes. the, the Riverland were producing yes. pretty good footballers back then. Well, Russell was uh, playing junior Colts when I was playing senior Colts up there. Yeah. And then he got a shift to the bank in uh, to Wakery, and uh, yeah. But he's we I played with his brother Bill. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes of course. Back, so uh, and and there was no zones back then. So no. how were you picked no, up? No, it was it was West Adelaide. It was still West Adelaide. Yeah, right. Yeah. But uh, I did come down and have a trial game with Westies, but and, and then I did go to Port Adelaide too. Right. What happened and, there? Well, we they sat me in this room and they <laughs> said, how much do you want? And they come back again and said, how much do you want? And I said, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so I went home. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I won uh, in, when I started in 67. I mean, uh, yeah, I, uh, I won the... Peter Franken, best first year up Murray player, mm. and then I won Loxton best and fairest the following year. So uh, and, then and then came then, down. Then came to Adelaide wow. with uh, with um, Kerry Holden. Ah, uh, but I still feel that if I never if I came down by myself after the first after the first you know season, mm. I reckon I would have gone back home and stayed home. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of players say that. I, I, I can remember Russell because Ebert saying that when he came down mm. first with Brucey Light, mm. they were only going to come down and play a couple of seconds matches. Mm. Yeah. Gonna, weren't going to get in the yeah. league side yeah. and then go home. All that I was knew the plan. About Adelaide was Main North Road, um, North Terrace, Anzac Highway, Brighton Road, and. Yeah. Uh, and was when it. I, when I, it's a funny thing, when I was repping, I, I had a reps job and, uh, with Seb Sales in those days, and they said, right, you've got to go to 324 South Road. So I thought, Jesus, where's that? So I used to go right up, up the hill and then come all the way down <laughs> to find out Start where it counting. was. Start <laughs> counting. <Yeah. laughs> now, you no, mentioned yeah. Kerry Hamilton. Yeah. Now, I, I saw Cornsey yesterday, yeah. and he said, just ask Rex how his company car's going with Bomber <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Oh, God, what did happen? Um, 
Oh, we... He reckoned we you were, went we, up the up north in, yeah, we went, in the Flinders? Yeah, we had... You know, I, I, I can't quite remember, actually. He, he, what he, reckons, he reckons Bomber put a hole in, your, in, your, oh. in the door of the car. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Anyway, <laughs> we're going up there, and he had a Sean off shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah you carry, carry those. Yeah. Back and in he, the day. he cocked it, <gasps> and all of a sudden, <laughs> I don't know, what the hell was that? Anyway, it was on the corner of the glove box there. That brand new was, company car. Well, it was a... It was. was a, it was a brand new company car. How'd you explain that, Rex? Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, very slowly. Right? <laughs> oh, they were perfect. He did said, oh, well, no worries. We'll, wow, we'll yeah. Have that fixed. Wow, all that days. But it was pointing the other way. It might have blown something else. Yeah, something exactly. Yeah. yeah, you might have been in <laughs> trouble yeah. there, Rex. Hey, it, you played on. with some good characters there, like, like Bomber. Oh, absolutely. You know, it, every, every football team has got those characters and, uh, yeah, we had Bomber with... Obviously, I boarded with Bomber for ages because if it wasn't for him, we probably would have ended up back in Locksley at any rate. But, uh, no, it's... Uh, yeah, in that era, there was, uh, there was quite a sensation. You looked up to those guys when you, when you started and uh, I still remember my first game and uh, at the Glenorg Oval and uh, Kells put me on the wing. It was a trial game and uh, he said... Uh, got me a quarter time, he said, look, you know, we recruited you to play centre, you go to centre and show me what you're made of. Well, I ended up playing ten games in the twos and won the twos best and fairest and then, then wow. I played the rest of the time in the A grade. So, wow. it, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a telling time. Yeah. It, was, it was good. 257 games, mate, not bad for a guy who was going to come down and, you know, maybe yeah. play one. Mm. I kicked one more goal than games, you know. That, yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got, that yeah. Was, well played. I didn't even spend half my time in the back pocket. Yes, yeah. that's right. I was just going to say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. For all those goals oh, yeah. you kicked, mm. you ended up in the back you pocket. Know, you know, it's a funny thing about sport. You've got to have that selfish desire to be successful, mm. but at the same time be the best team, team man you could be. Mm. And that's what I... And, and the other reason for me succeeding in Adelaide is that I didn't want to pick grapes the rest of my life. <laughs> Have you ever picked bloody grapes in the middle of summer? It's hard work. You know, bees and fleas, flies hanging around and well, slipping away. I tell yeah. you, bending your back, you know. Well, well we, you know, like, Mum and Dad could feed us, but we had six kids in the family, so we... Mm. Well, if we wanted a car, we had to get out in the bush and, and do it. So, And that was my reason to be successful in Adelaide, because yeah. I didn't want to go back to grapes. <laughs> I actually did that, Rex. I actually picked grapes with yeah. Uh, yeah. Jeff Crow, yeah. the yeah. cricket. We went up there, we, we felt we'd, they told us we needed yeah. a job, yeah. uh, not just cricket, so you yeah. have to go and do some work. Yeah. So we went and did that, yeah. and I can understand now why you play 257 games in the Bays and stay down there. Because we lasted, uh, and we, we were two very fit cricketers at that stage. Uh, we started at uh, 9 o'clock, and we, I was in the uh, Wakery pub at quarter to 11. <laughs> Is that how long you lasted? Followed, that's how long we lasted. Followed by Jeff Crow about half past 12. Oh, so, yeah, no, a tough gig. Yeah, tough those gig. were the days. Yeah. Hey, Rex, you did a little bit of coaching, uh, and I believe you coached a young fella called Chris McDermott uh, in the juniors. Yeah, well, they, it came up um, down the bay, and they, they had under, under 13s, under 14s, and uh, at any rate, they approached me to see if I wanted to coach the kids, and uh, so, you know, having those two on your side was... Uh, yeah. And with... Uh, Chris taking over number 10, which was... Well, that was blessing. what I was going to say. He loved he did, you yeah. that much. He wanted oh, to wear number he, 10. He is incredible. And Steph and Stephen Kernahan too, you know. Yeah. Like that was, <laughs> we had a lot of fun with... There's some good players. Old Harry was a... Uh, he was the uh, secretary or whatever you like yes, to call it. Yes, he, he, he was everything. He was everything. No, it was a joy. <laughs> and, and the thing is, they, they put... Not, oh, not pressure, but you felt pressured to actually um, play well yourself so they could... You know, role model you to a certain extent. Mm, yeah. But when when we started training, I I never did laps. No. Never. Good. They would love that. Oh, <laughs> I used to laps when we did final laps at the bay. I used to be in front, and by the time we got to the first goalpost, I was sixth or seventh. By the time we got to the wing, I was hiding behind Peter Carey because <laughs> I knew he wouldn't get in trouble coming home. So, uh, yeah. Good system. <laughs> yeah. I was only good for, for about 20 yards and that was yeah. it. I ran out of puff after that. Great system. Now, uh, let's get off the footy for a sec because I did read that you were pretty hot with the flat stick. 
with a putter. You're a bit of a golfer, but oh. the putter is your weapon. One would. Mm. It's his weapon of Cheap as choice. Is that right? That. Are we right here? Well, it hasn't quite improved since then, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they never do, do, mate. Trust well, me. I do play down the pat at Monday mornings and Friday mornings, get yeah. up at six o'clock, daybreak, so we hit yeah. off at number one. We've gone, yeah, I think it went that way. Another one hit off, yeah, I think it went that way. And then you say, oh, got no idea. And then you go and find, oh, yeah, this will do this ball. Until yeah. it gets light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that second hole, you're right. You we finished by nine, nine thirty. You still got the day to yourself. Yeah, if you start call. at ten o'clock, too late. Oh, it's true, mate. You're still there at two o'clock in the afternoon. No, that, that's that's so, a very so, good point. We used to do the same thing. Yeah, so day. that I do that every Monday and Friday morning. So that, and then the other days, normally I walk around home for an hour just to keep the the body a little bit in shape. Keep well, it you're going. doing all right, mate. Yeah. You're doing all right. You're doing okay, mate. Thanks for joining us today, mate. Pleasure. Really appreciate Absolute it. Pleasure. It's always great to catch up with some oh, yeah. past stars, and, yeah. mate, you were certainly a star. Champion. Rex Voigt was our very special guest on the SA Sports Show. We'll be back with more Thank in you. just a moment. Oh.